Okay, so I've just spent a couple hours fixing a childhood mistake. This is an axe. Uh, it's a splitting axe that my dad had when I was growing up. And uh, as a teenager, I thought I was an axe sharpening expert. And I absolutely destroyed this axe. And you can see when I was hammering it through chunks, I'd always miss and I'd hit the handle. So the handle's destroyed. That still needs to be replaced. Um, but, uh, the grind, I had, um, about twice to three times steeper on one side than I did on the other side. And so, when you would chop, the head would kick sideways. It was, it was terrible. It couldn't bite into anything. Um, and now everybody's got, you know, their difference of opinion on how much angle to have here on the end. And this is probably, it could probably be a little bit steeper. This is just uh, me fixing it and getting a nice uniform grind. I can always come back in and uh, do like a double grind um, with two different angles. So it's how I did this um, is I started with a file um, just to get it a little bit smoothed out because it was really, really bad. And then I came over here and I clamped um, just a C-clamp onto my Harbor Freight grinder. And um, once you get the C-clamp there, you use that, and that will set your angle. So you just sit your axe, just like this. As the sander's on, you just rock back and forth. And try to go, you do it uniformly. And every so now and again, you know, check the other side and see what it looks like. And you can see if there's any spots that need more attention. So just rock it, and then flip it, like so. And then do the same thing, rock it back and forth, back and forth. And um, you can set, depending on how much table, you can set your angle by moving the clamp in or out. So if you want um, a steeper angle, um, scoot it out. If you want, you know, a shallower angle, scoot it in. So anyway, that's how you fix an axe that, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe your 10-year-old has jacked it up like I did when I was a kid in... Uh, you can fix it yourself. You don't have to go buy a new $30 axe. You know, the good thing about an axe is if it's a quality axe, it'll last a long, long time. And uh, you can buy new handles, which I'm going to have to buy a new handle because this thing is really chewed up. I've been doing a lot of uh, splitting uh, because of this guy over here. I might do a review on that. Um, part of this channel is, uh, you know, being gun survival news is home setting, the survival part of the channel. So, now that I live out in the country, you know, I and I have wood heat. This is uh, the shop. I got the wood stove here and then a wood stove in the house. I'm starting to cut and uh, do a lot of uh, wood splitting. So, for now, I'm uh, getting good at swinging an axe. Maybe next year I'll buy one of those wood splitters. But, I feel like it's good to know the basics before you uh, jump in over your head. So, I'm going to see how it goes. You know, with cutting my own wood, you know, the hard way, and maybe I will earn the right to have a wood splitter, one of those hydraulic ones. I started out, where is it? Oh, right here. I was weighing the difference between my old saw and my new saw. This is my old saw. This is my dad's saw. It's a Shindaiwa. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. 360. Um, he used to use this just for trimming limbs. I think it has like a 14-inch bar, maybe. But it is absolutely destroyed. Um, you can't cut straight long enough to go through anything more than two inches. So if it's less than two inches in diameter, you can cut it with this saw. Otherwise, forget it. Um, the bar's destroyed. Chain sharp, but the bar's destroyed, so it doesn't cut straight. The carburetor uh, set screws vibrate out of position after about 10 minutes. So you have to retune the carburetor every 10 minutes. Total, I, it's unusable in my book. So, I made this purchase uh, just not too long ago. Uh, actually, a couple days ago. And uh, I cut down uh, a tree. It was like a double trunk. Each trunk was about 20 inches and uh, 20 inch diameter. So, two trunks, 20 inch diameter. Um, I don't know how tall it was, but chopped the entire tree up into uh, 
the point where it just needs to be split and it took me maybe two hours this thing hogs through um, trees like none other so any of you guys who are thinking about homesteading you know being self-sufficient you know yeah at some point you're gonna run out of gas but hey this is a good place to start you know until you run out of gas you might as well not kill yourself sawing things by hand so I would highly recommend this saw farm boss by steel and uh, get yourself some good axes splitting wedges and a sledgehammer anyways that's all I got for this video and uh, if you like the video give me a thumbs up um, don't uh, be afraid to leave me a comment in the comment section below and remember survival is a state of mind